or with the actual modeling phase. So, I'm going to tab and go back to object mode. I am going to uh, add in a, a UV sphere. So shift A, mesh, UV sphere. And before touching it, don't touch it yet, uh, there is a little toolbar down here in the toolbar allowing you to choose how many segments and rings are in the sphere. Let's see if I can remember these numbers. I think it is like an 8-ish by 8 by 8. Yeah, that'll do. So make a sphere with 8 by 8. Bring it up to about where the head is. About where the chin is there. Go into my third view. Go into edit mode. Uh, wireframe by pressing Z. Hit your box selector and take out these one, two, three, four, five, six rings up here. So you have the top one, one, two, three, four, five. And then delete the vertices. And now, with your vertex select, uh, go and grab. You can hit Alt and select all of these. And I'm going to deselect this one in the very back. Go back to my view three. Extrude this up to about here. Bring it out a bit, extrude it up to about here, and then bring it up like this, and then bring it back, like that, scale it down, like that. Now, let's see, how does that compare to the front? It is very far off. Scale this along the x axis. To about here. Press B and middle mouse button to deselect these. And let's see, probably deselect the ones on the top two. Scale this out along its X. About here. Take the B, take this one off with the middle mouse. And take this one off with the middle mouse. So we have only this one here. Scale on the X to about here. That's looking better. Now you're thinking that the back of his head is missing. Um, this saves geometry, allowing you to render it faster. And we are going to put hair over it and then the hood. So uh, you don't necessarily have to worry about this back area. Unless, of course, you want to. Um, I, I personally am one who does often like to do that sort of thing. You know, this this actually, we can go to the front view and hit B and take away one entire side, delete the vertices, go back into object mode, add another mirror modifier, and add clipping in the middle. So now it's mirrored just like the rest. And then I'm going to... Go ahead, extrude that vertice up again to keep it aligned. And then one more, and then one more. That is stuck in the middle. Grab these four faces here. Hit F to fill it in. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit and go like this. Uh, that was using something called the F2 add-on. You can find that in the add-ons uh, within the user preferences, but otherwise you can just select the four vertices and do the same as you always would. Grab this one here, distribute it to the center, grab these two, and then these two. And hit F to fill those in, and if we want, we can actually fill in these ones in the middle, just fill like that. It, it, it makes an end gun, but that doesn't matter so much right now. And so we got a little head going here. Um, it looks a little funny. Uh, it probably looks funny because of uh, the shape of this head was further off. What I can do, if you want, 
if you like this sort of head more than the one I've made based off of the uh, Peter's tutorial. I'm going to move his head to a different layer and then show you how to create a head more like this. So I put my 3D cursor there. I'm going to make a cube. Skin that down. Go ahead and get a mirror modifier going. Take the vertices. The edit mode, mirror. And then take everything. Scale it up. I'm going to take this one here. Move it to about here. And no, I'm doing this completely with no previous knowledge. I am seriously winging it here. Bring this up to about here. Rotate a bit. Add the clipping. Bring that to the middle. Let go. Let go. So this head would go up to about right here. I'm going to add, say, four loops here. Pull these out to about here. Take this one. Pull it here. Take this one. Pull it further out here. Tipped. Didn't select right again. That should about do it. Go to my right view. Let's see, his chin is right here. So I want to bring that to right there. Which means I want to bring this one to about right here. And let's work on bringing out the middle of the face a bit. Whoops. I want to grab this one too. When you bring it out, going from the bottom to the top, that goes there. Deselect this one. Uh, the next one goes out further. Deselect it. That one's probably about just right, so I'll deselect it. And then start pulling this back. And then, like this. I'm going to pull this one back here. That cursor back since I misclicked. Let's go back here and how's this looking? It's more square. Might be kind of nice. We'll see. Do the same on the back side. That one at the bottom is probably just fine. Pull these out to about here. This one to about here. And there's usually quite a lump in the back of hoods, so I'm not going to follow that all the way. Pull these ones back to about here. And then this one to about here. Just kind of even these out a bit. Let's see, that looks a little bit funny, but still kind of cool. What I might do is add in another loop in here, and uh, let's see, scale it along the Y just slightly. And then, uh, let's say I deselect these ones in the front, and pull these back a bit. His head just seems too flat to me, so that's what I'm fixing here. My voice is starting to be thrown out. So there's that. Now what we can do is, uh, with it selected in object mode, hold shift and select this one, and hit control J. And now they are all one mesh. All one together. Excuse me while I pull the drink. Dr. Pepper. So, so now that that's done, I think what's left to do is make the hood. Um, see how I kind of outline what I'm going to make. I think we should make this hood here. Um, perhaps this little bit on the vest 
this uh, bandoiler is what it is called. Um, perhaps these little cufflinks. We can make the knife if you would wish, but I think I will do that later on. Um, for visuals, we could make a belt. It would look kind of nice. Maybe kind of make it. Nah, we, we might make those. We don't necessarily have to. Uh, we can make the boots more boot like if you want. Still bugs on my getting on my computer. Guess okay, so yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, and maybe five. Five, maybe six, I mean. Delete those. Delete frame. Let's save. So now we can uh, smooth it if you want to kind of see what it's gonna look like. Kind of nice. Some uh, weird coloring in here. Might take this one down just a wee bit. Pull it out a little. I kind of like the flat view though. At least for now. Now I'll do smooth. I will do smooth. Okay, let's make the hood. I'm going to put my 3D cursor with a left click on the neck. And it's already censored it up on the other side. Is this a. Uh, Hood a part of his coat. So it's probably a part of it on the back. I think I know what we can do. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go into object mode and let's add a, a UV sphere. Let's leave it 8x8 again. Pull it up over his head. Say about right here, where ah, wow, that really itch. Where this ring meets up with this part of the hood, the part that isn't a little point. And I'm going to click on that little point and then press my period button so that when I scale this uh, sphere, it'll scale from that point like this. Nice little handy tool. And then hit comma to bring it back. I'm going to pull this back up a bit. I'm going to go into edit mode. Go ahead and get a mirror modifier going. Makes things easy. Delete vertices. Uh, object mode, mirror, clipping. And then I'm going to delete the bottom half. Say about these right here. I know it's a little hard to see. So now we have that section there. And I can grab these. See if we look at his hood, we know that this one here on the front can let's see. I'm gonna grab these two here. And I'm going to extrude it down to that point there. And then I'm going to grab this vertice over here and place it right there. So now we got that. I'm going to smooth this too, just to make it look better. And uh, I'm going to take that vertice and this one. Let's see. Look. I'm going to take this one vertice here and I'm going to outline the difference between this right here and then the rest of the the rest of the hood. There we go. So I'm gonna take this, extrude it to about here, bring it out to about here, and then here. Okay. That is going just fine. I'm going to take this vertice that is here in the well. Okay, that is not. I'm confused. I'm going to pull this out a bit. Got like that. We have a uh, odd shape in here. Pull it up to about here. Go back to my front view. 
No, I guess it was in the right spot. It's this one that's not in the right spot. There we go. Hit GG. What's going on now? GG. There we go. About right there. Perfect. Let me grab this one. I'm going to extrude it. Nope, not going to extrude it because we already have some faces. So extrude this one down to that one. And this one down to this one. And this one down to this one. And then you can fill in these faces. I'm going to cheat again and use my F2 add-on. So that's coming along. Except I think it slightly goes back around his head. So I'm going to rotate this, rotate these a bit, and then pull them back. I did not hit that button five times. Go back like this, deselect that one, except it still thinks I'm clicking many times, and pull it back. You can see in this side image here about where it needs to be, actually. That is convenient. this, that like that, pull this one up here, then this main 21 right here, this one down to about there, about there, and there. It's looking good, isn't it? We still have a weird shape right here. See, I'm going to try and recalculate this and see if it... Uh, the problem is that we're making a concave square, so I'm going to just pull it out slightly, just so we can stop doing that. Next, let's see, I might add in one more loop right here. GG, pull it up, grab it, pull it this way a little bit. Center it up over here, it already is. I'm gonna save again. And let's see. Next we want to make the rest of the hood, or we can continue this back around the back. So I'm gonna go over here. And it looks like the hood comes down. That's confusing. On this side it comes down this way. It comes down like this and heads to the back, but on this side it comes straight down to the front. So, things like that can happen sometimes. It's up to you. Um, what I might do is a little bit more of what's going on over here. And uh, have it come down, kind of clump up a little bit near the shoulder, and then quickly move to the back. This is my design decision. So I'll go to my front view. Extrude out a bit. Extrude again. To the back like that with my view like this. Put those in place. That is looking great. Pull it back just slightly more. And then on the back side, what does Ezio's look like? What does Ezio's hood look like on the back? That is uh, a question that if you are familiar with the answer, I highly recommend you do it the correct way. And let's see. Control 1 to go to my back view. Go about something like this. And then put these together. There we go. How's that looking? Save. So then the next task, which is going to be a little difficult, is to fill in the rest of the hood. I might go into my third view here, numpad 3, and just quickly place in this little that little thing there. 
will look nice. And okay, time to start connecting these. The hard part about that is if I go like this, and uh, deselect these up here, you will see that I have. Uh, what happened? I have 10 vertices selected, and this 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 4 vertices up here, so that's going to be a little complicated. I think I know what I might want to do. It's okay, I've asked. I know you do it 3 times a day. So I took these 2 vertices here and pull it down, say about right here. Pull another one down, then another. Pull one out and backwards. It's going good. I'm going to take this vertice up here, extrude it down, extrude it again. You'll notice all these vertices are lining up. And say about here. I'll take these two, and you can take the four and fill them. But I, I really do enjoy my F2 modifier or F on, I mean. I'm failing to use them. I'm going to pull one of these back. Might add an edge loop here, maybe? So that I can do that without interrupting what's going on over here. Still looks good. This part might be out too much, definitely. Grab these two and pull them in. Get this one and pull it in. It's going well. And so now it's time to figure this part out. Uh, I think what we might do is make some triangles. Unless we want to actually... Yeah, we can do that. We can do this. We can add two here. And then one here. So things will line up a little bit more. I'm going to take these four here, add that there, just make that easier. Take these two, line that up, then line this up. Grab these two here. GG, move them over. I don't want to move over that way. Do them one at a time. These two vertices, do that, and then this, and that! I did it! Yay! I could add an edge loop there, but because of this one right here, we have what is called an edge pull right here, where only th where three, it's basically three, five, or more uh, edges being connected to one vertice. If it's four, then that's a normal vertex. And uh, if it's three, five, or more, uh, it is an edge pull, which changes the direction of the geometry, in which this case it makes it loop around on itself. So I'll leave the hood like that in the back, just fine. Not all that low poly, but now we have this pretty awesome hood. Let's see, I wonder if we can, in my front view, there's that sort of shape here. Grab this. GG to move away up here. I'm going to grab my edge select tool. Grab this one. This. What's it doing? It is not showing up orange as I select it. Okay, I'm going to go to my vertices. There we go. That's a little weird. Grab these here. Just this edge of that uh, line. Is it weird that I'm making this even though I haven't played all the Assassin's Creed games? I've, I've played bits of them. Um, I've played quite a bit of the multiplayer. So anyway, after you have that selected, uh, Shift E, and that's going to make a sharp seam. And that didn't really do much. So I'm going to hit Control Z, and then I'm going to try a Control B for a bevel, and just barely bevel it. 
like that. So now you have this hard this hard edge there. It's hard to see over here, so I'm going to grab two of these and push them in a little bit. Maybe a little bit more than that. Grab this one too. There we go. Oops, what did I just do? Safe. It is coming along great. Uh, do we want to make care for him or. Let's see. I can delete this other head I was making. And then take his hood and move it to another.